person. And some people I, do. That's yeah, what I'm I think saying. you're right. Bi- that's why I'm talking about election bias. Because yeah. some people are like, well, I identify because I'm a woman of color and I'm a woman. Right. So I'm going to vote for her because of that one reason. You know, sometimes I don't even look at the other reasons. It's like, yay, she's breaking the glass ceiling. So there is the problem is like, but, but, you know, again, it's, it just gets so convoluted and, you know, it's upsetting that we give this much attention and distraction both, um, just on the, the surface level things not about the things that actually matter, which is, yeah, how are you going to turn around our economy? How are you going to turn around the immigration? How are you going to turn around war? What are you going to do in those instances? That's what I want to know. I don't care about the superficial part. I, I want to know what you stand on and why. And I want you to be clear about that. But at the same time, I'm not dumb enough to know that even though you're you're running on that platform with those policies, that you don't have a lot of control over that once you get into that role. You have the House and the Senate, you know, who can override anything you're trying to do, which has happened many, many times, presidents. They're, they run on a ticket and they say, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And they could, their hands were tied. They couldn't do any of that. So, so there, there's where... People have to get a little smarter on who they put in those seats. Who is who is your House of Representatives? Who is your senator? You know, who who are those people that are making policy changes and writing documents that are 900 pages, you know, 10,000s of pages? You know, what are 